Hey, I'm Ditech, and I like to mod computers. And this is a sort of proof of concept slash tutorial video on how to go about modding your motherboard. Now, a lot of people don't really like to mod their motherboards because of all of the connections and pins and just transistors and everything on the motherboard that kind of makes it a little bit sketchy to think about painting the entire thing. But it is absolutely possible. I know a lot of people do paint their heat sinks and their connection points and things like that, different colors, but it is totally possible to paint the entire PCB. And I'm gonna be proving that in this video in hopefully a pretty aesthetically pleasing manner. Now, there are a couple things that you have to worry about when you're painting your motherboard PCB, and that is heat and conductivity. On most boards, there are heat sinks that go over parts of the board that get pretty hot, and you don't wanna paint underneath where those heat sinks attach to. There will usually be, if you unscrew the heat sink, there will be a thermal pad that goes on top of some MOSFETs underneath the heatsink. You don't want to put any kind of insulating layer on top of the MOSFETs underneath your heatsinks, like paint for example, because those MOSFETs need to dissipate heat effectively in order to prevent your motherboard from overheating and potentially shutting down. And besides that, you don't want to use any kind of conductive layer or coating over the top of your PCB, like uh, paint with metal chips in it for example, because you could potentially ruin your motherboard and waste a lot of money. So if you follow all of the same steps that I do and use the same tools that I used, you shouldn't worry too much about affecting the performance of your computer at all. Conductivity is your worst enemy, and besides that, heat dissipation is not that big a deal unless it's the spots right underneath the heat sinks, and you're not going to paint over those spots because the heat sinks need to come in contact with those. So as long as you keep that in mind, you should be good to go. I actually picked up this brand new Asus Strix Z270M ATX motherboard that I'm gonna be using in my own personal computer, and I am completely confident that I am not going to blow anything up. So the bread and butter of this mod is this acrylic conformal coating, which basically just puts a protective, non-conductive layer over the top of your motherboard. And so when we paint our motherboard, we're not actually going to be painting the motherboard, we're going to be painting this clear coat that we put on top of it. Of course, there are components on the motherboard that we can't put any type of coating or paint or anything like that over, such as all of the connections that allow you to plug in your RAM sticks, your graphics card, all of these plugs here at the bottom, the USB plugs, everything like that. Obviously, we can't spray over the CPU socket or any of the I.O. ports. I guess what I'm trying to say is you're going to spend like two or three hours just taping things off and making sure that they're not going to get spray painted and then about five minutes actually spray painting. Don't worry about having to tape over all of these connection points. If you want to paint them, you absolutely can, but this is not the step that you do that. We're just gonna be putting a flat black layer on top of this motherboard and then coming back in later to touch it up and add details and things like that. And I should also mention that I'm using Rust-Oleum Automotive Enamel to paint the motherboard and frog tape and vinyl to tape off all of the areas that I don't want painted. Frog tape is basically just painter's tape except it has a better adhesive on the back of it, so it just sticks better. And I chose automotive enamel because it resists heat very well, and obviously, motherboards get hot. By the way, the little dots that surround the motherboard standoff screw holes are there to ground your metal screws, so don't cover those up with any kind of spray because they need to come in contact with the screws.
If you want to paint any of the connection points, I know for example some motherboards have brightly colored RAM slots and things like that, just use a paintbrush because it's the safest way to make sure no paint will get into your connection points. If you want to paint your heat sinks, just take them off like I did and then spray paint over them or use a brush or whatever. Just make sure you don't paint the bottom of it where the thermal pad is because that part needs to touch the motherboard in order to help with heat dissipation. So the paint job came out awesome and the computer behind me is actually using the motherboard that I painted and I've been using it for a day or so now. I've done some stress tests and things like that and there's been no issues whatsoever. It's not heated up to the point where it matters in any way. Something to keep in mind if you're going to be using the same paint style that I used, what with spraying spray paint into a cup or something and then using that to paint with, is that spray paint is really a lot more watery than, you know, acrylic paint or something that you can buy just for paintbrushes. So keep that in mind when you're trying to find a nice balance with how much paint to have on your paintbrush when you're painting so that you don't get any kind of like splotches or anything like that. I did get some of that on my motherboard, but I still like the finish anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Most enamel spray paint is non-conductive unless it has like metal chips or something like that in it or it specifically says that it is conductive and I use the Rust-Oleum automotive enamel because I know for a fact that it's non-conductive. I know for a fact that it resists a lot of heat specifically because it advertises that it resists a bunch of heat. It's um, meant to go on engines and things like that and those things get really hot so there's no worry when it comes to that. And the acrylic coating that I used is also plenty heat resistant enough to put on your motherboard. It's not going to be an issue whatsoever. It's obviously non-conductive. That is the whole point of it in the first place. And the links to the paint and the coating that I use are in the description of the video. Anyway, I'm Ditech and I like to mod computers. And if you thought this video was useful and you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.